you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time looking at Star Wars packages. Well, here's some things you probably never noticed before. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with yet, can you believe it, another video. We're recording this one live. Let's put the chat up here. That's right. Maybe you're in the chat room right now. We've got over 20 people. When I say over 20, 23 people. I know when we're really scheduled. This is something I might start doing is making the videos live. Should be a, a lot of fun. And if you're in the chat room, I got something to ask you when this video is over. But today we're going to look closer at some Star Wars packages to see maybe there's some things on it you never really noticed before. Now, some of these you will notice because you're like me, you spend too much time looking at Star Wars boxes. Some of these you'll know because I've talked about them in longer videos. But hopefully, some of these you've never seen before. I hope so anyway. So let's just start with number 10 because I don't have a picture to show you. I went on Facebook in like four different groups, asked for a picture of this. Went to Twitter, Kenner Toys Twitter, asked for a picture of this. I asked everyone I could for a picture of this, but apparently it's true. Apparently the very first TIE Fighter box released had the word that it contained inside the box an X-Wing fighter. An X-Wing fighter. Now, every box I saw, it said it contained one TIE fighter or one spaceship. But all the information I could find, I saw people talk about this variant box a lot, but I can find no photo of it. So I have no photo to show you on this one. Hopefully someone will find the photo, have it in their collection, and show it to me. I would like to see it. It seems like I've seen it before and talked about it before, but maybe not. So let's go to number nine. I know a lot of you probably don't really collect the Star Wars droids action figures, and I can understand why. It sucked! Well, at least the toy. I like the toys. Toys look okay. The TV show kind of kind of sucked, but I was really too old for it by the time it came out. So Let's look at this card from the Star Wars droid line. Hmm. Notice something odd? Look at that alien in the background. He has no head. Ugh, where did his head go? He's headless. Now, I did a whole video about this so you can find out more. I just think it's always funny. I've never saw this card hundreds of times and never realized they drew an alien with no head. What's the story? It makes, it makes absolutely no sense. And now, number eight is another one I've talked about before. I'm sure many of you have had the Walrus Man action figure. Walrus, Wallace, it's not Wallace Man, is it? That's what it should have been, Wallace Man. That would have been good. Walrus, Wall. Wallet. Why am I having a hard trouble saying that? You know what I'm talking about. The guy that looks like he got a pair of balls on his face. Well, if you look at the card really closer, you'll see some fingernails down in the corner. Of course, I've done a video on this also. It's because it was one of those little rat creatures in the scene. They had to airbrush it out, and they didn't get all of his fingernails out. Weird, I know. As they say, weird, wacky stuff. Number seven. Mm, this is a foreign card release right here. Released in uh, Japan, I believe. I should have looked that up before I made the video, but I forgot to. And it has, has Stormtrooper written on the card. Or as they say, Stoom Trooper, I guess. S-T-R-O-O-M. Stroom Trooper. They couldn't even spell Storm Trooper right. I guess it was hard to translate between English and Japanese. So we have got that one out of the way. How about number six? From a carrying case. That's right. This is a case you put your action figures in. Everyone loved them. You could get one of the early generic ones that wasn't Star Wars. But then Star Wars came out with... Had a little, we flipped the box over inside. You could stand them on them. It was really, really cool. Really cool. And have you ever noticed on the carrying case, the Death Stars? Upside down. No, I know you're going to tell me, Junk Man, there's no upside down side in, in space. But come on, we all know the Death Stars been photographed in these movies with the little dent part of it at the top. Now, in Rogue One, it doesn't show it upside down. Maybe it's an homage to this box. I don't know. Even the old early Kenner catalogs had the Death Star upside down. So it's like, hmm, I wonder if at one time they were going to rotate it and have the little hole part at the bottom. Who knows? I'm not really sure, but it's something to check out. Uh, number five. Have you ever noticed this looking at the back of your Star Wars action figures? A lot of times, especially on the earlier cards, a lot of those play sets and accessories are prototypes. There's a prototype of an ad ad, Imperial Base, a lot of other stuff. Prototypes on the back of the cards. Yeah, you look at it, you're like, that don't look like the play set I got. Because it's not, it's a prototype. Because this real one wasn't ready yet. So that's very interesting. Number four. This is one, this is one, I put this one on Twitter, so some of you might have seen it on Facebook, but this is the one that makes you go, what? I never know, what? Okay, get the TIE Fighter box. I don't want to go to somebody says X-Wing on it. We're talking about that. On the side of it, it shows a kid 
plan. You know, you could put an action figure inside the TIE fighter. I always put a stormtrooper in it because we didn't have a TIE fighter pilot, but I put a stormtrooper in. But this kid decided to put a Darth Vader in it. And we all thought, hmm, he's playing with his Darth Vader action figure in the TIE fighter. Okay, why didn't he buy the Darth Vader TIE fighter if you wanted to put Darth Vader in a ship? I don't know. But look closely. Here's the picture. It's like some kind of weird cutout of Darth Vader. It's not even an action figure. It's not even a cutout of the action. It's like a piece of cardboard Darth Vader. Have you ever noticed this? It's very strange looking. Now, I don't know why this is. I don't know if the figure wasn't ready yet. Um, I don't. At first, I thought well, maybe they didn't put a Stormtrooper in here because white on white just wouldn't look as good on the box. So they put Vader so it would show up better. But you think they would have had the prototype ready already if they had the TIE Fighter already. Not really sure. Have you ever noticed the TIE Fighter looks like a bow tie? Bow tie, tie fighter. Ooh, that's funny, man. I see what you did there, George Lucas. And while we're talking about uh, boxes, how about this one right here? The other guy on the Star Destroyer box. Another one I did a whole video. Flip the box over to the Star Destroyer box, and it's got this whole story about this Grand Visor guy. Yeah, it's a whole different character that we've never even heard of in Star Wars. Apparently, he was going to be in The Empire Strikes Back, and it's going to be like the guy between Vader and the Emperor. Guess they decided to cut all that out and forgot to tell Kenner because on the back of the box there's a whole thing about how Darth Vader's got an answer to him. It's weird. It's weird. You think they would have fixed that before they released it, but they didn't. You know what else they didn't fix or didn't care to? The land speeder. What's wrong with the land speeder box? Here. Here's a picture. See if you can spot it. Did you notice anything? Did you notice? The stormtrooper's holding a Chewbacca pistol. Or a Chewbacca crossbow, I should say. Weird. I guess they didn't really care. They just say, hey, throw it in there. But you think, you know, Stormtrooper, and there's, at this time, there wasn't many figures. I think they would have got this one right. But they didn't. And for number one, for the last one, we're going to move away from toys and look at something on the CBS video. That's right. The video box. What could be wrong with this? See this at your local video store. Pick it up and say, what is this, Star Wars? Let me see what this is about. So I'm going to read you what it says on the back of that. Right there. I'm going to read you what's on the back of this. That's right. I get to read in a video. This is going to be a lot of fun and a lot of edits. Okay. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I see nothing wrong, wrong with that. Color, 1977. They're right. It's in color. That's one reason it was a big hit. Kids love color. That's right. If you're out there making a movie, remember that. The biggest box office hit. See, I'm messing up already. The biggest box office, the biggest box office hit in the history of motion picture, Star Wars, is an elaborate, spectacular film that represents the ultimate in cinema entertainment. That it does. Writer director George Lucas, passion for space, fantasy, adventure, and romance. It's captured on screen with the awesome special effects. That it is. Ah, but. What's so wrong about this? What is what's wrong? Let's keep going. Princess Leia is captured and held hostage by the evil imperial forces. Well, I guess if they mean empire, they're right. There are evil imperial forces. But listen to this. Let me start over. Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher, is captured and held hostage by the evil imperial forces in their effort to take over the galactic empire. What? These people see the movie, it was the Empire that kidnapped her. She was trying to take over the Galactic Empire, and the Empire captured her. Did they even see the movie? Oh, man. Venturesome Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, and dashing Captain Han Solo, Harrison Ford, team together with a lovable droid duo, R2 and 3PO, to rescue a beautiful princess and restore justice to the Empire. Let me read that again. They team up together to restore justice to the Empire. I think this is written by Tarkin's cousin or something. This is Imperial propaganda right here. But it does say it's the winner of six Academy Awards and 121 minutes long. And yes, I have it on beta. I need to get a Jedi on beta. Never had beta as a kid, but I like beta. I like beta because it's small. Look at that. Small. But anyway, that's a look at 10 things that you probably never noticed on a Star Wars package. Let me know in the comments below which ones you did notice or maybe some that I missed. Or how about that TIE fighter that says X-Wing on the box? If you got a photo of that, please let me know. And you guys hanging out in the live stream in the chat, thank you so much for supporting the live streams and coming over to talk about us. I hope you're not saying nothing bad here about me. Probably making fun of me. Well... We'll see. But anyway, thank you for watching. As always, I must really like my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon.
Hey, hey jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs>